Spotify fam, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification. Class in session. With this being an open stance matchup, the lack of lead hand play from Cambosos is very troubling. This is mainly due to fighting with a low lead hand, which makes it far more difficult to defend against a southpaw backhand without exceptional reflexes and timing. On top of that, when Cambosos does use his lead hand, he typically throws single mid-range jabs that can be easily countered. Cambosos likes to lean his head a little over his lead leg, putting most of his weight on the front foot in the process. As a result, this makes him very susceptible to straight punches, which Lomachenko is known for throwing the most. Counterpunching is the focal point of Camboso's game. He has a wide variety of counters such as a signature jab hook trap that he likes to use when his opponents try to counter over his initial attack with the jab. The trap is a throwaway jab to bait, then a half step back, counter lead hand hook. The jab hook trap could be especially important for Cambosos due to a tactical choice Lomachenko makes with the lead hand, but more on that later in the film study. Similar to former opponent Teofimo Lopez, Gambosos likes to probe or pull down his opponent's lead hand in order to create an opening to land his overhand. Gambosos possesses very explosive footwork when he applies pressure. Unfortunately, Cambosos often lunges or reaches with the backhand when coming forward. As a result, he goes into a dangerous forward shift that leaves him squared and available for devastating counter punches. Lomachenko has always been a slow starter when trying to gather data on his opponent. He likes to use pre-slips, level changes, foot and jab feints in order to bait out habits and reactions. Based on the reaction of his opponent, Loma adjusts and acts accordingly. The reaction that best favors Loma is no reaction at all so that he can later use that same setup to deceptively attack. Lomachenko possesses an elite lead hand that he uses to close and control distance, turn his opponent's positioning, and counter over his opponent's lead hand. The choice Lomachenko made is to deliberately avoid fencing battles with the lead hand. Against Jermaine Ortiz, he refused to give Ortiz the option to control the lead hand while also refusing to seek control himself, leaving the lead hand free to defend or strike. That choice possibly takes away George's backhand setup in which he manipulates the lead hand to clear the lane for the backhand. However, it also makes that jab hook trap more likely to work as Loma will have his lead hand free, which leaves more opportunity to choose to take the bait and counter. When coming forward, Lomachenko's footwork is a force to be reckoned with. Using feints combined with his active lead hand with his signature front foot shuffle, Loma is able to get lead foot dominance and create angles where he lands light.